So did Paul Singer see the drop this past month in E2 open as an opportunity to buy? Yes. Was it a wise move? As you do have a gap in price, possible. But when you go to the weekly chart, was it a false positive? Being that the fact that price broke a key support level at $4 possible let's get into this article can billionaire Paul Singer save E2 open so Elliot disclosed ownership of 27 million shares of E2WO which were acquired an average price of $2.55 now Elliot is Elliot's management investment management and is owned by Paul Singer's and uh, he acquired a 14% stake in the company recently. Again, right now he owns about 28 million shares. Um, that was acquired at $2.55. So we'll keep that in mind, $2.55. Further, the fund entered into a derivative agreement in the form of cash settled swaps on another $14.5 million noted street insider in total Elliot put down 70 million to acquire its stake as of June 30th Elliot had a 6.8 percent stake in the company on September 15th the fund actually sold 1.75 million shares at an average price of four dollars and ninety cents however on October 11th he acquired 8 million shares again between two dollars and twenty cents and two dollars and forty cents so October 11th, which was a week ago, between uh, $2 and $2.50, so we'll keep that in mind. The next day, he picked up another 250,000 shares at an average price of $2.50. So why the sudden change of heart? On October 11th, E2WO stock plummeted to an all-time low after the company reported its fiscal 2024 second quarter earnings. It's fair to say that the results were really bad. At the same time, E2 Open also announced that the CEO would step down while the company searches for a replacement. So when things go to hell, usually you point the finger at the CEO. They get all the blame, but all the praise too. It's kind of like football and the coach, head coach. They don't fire the players, they let go of the coach. All right, so let's get into the results of the second quarter. Uh, during the second quarter, gap revenue tallied in at $158 million, down by 1.4% year-over-year. Gap subscription revenue total $134.7 million, up 2.4% year-over-year. Furthermore, gross margins grew to 50% from 48.2%, while the company's net loss shrunk to $38.6 million from $409.6 million. Many of E2 Open's metrics seem to be improving, which may be why Elliot decided to increase its stake. Okay, so maybe he's catching the fallen knife. So let's go back to the daily chart. Again, he brought a bulk of his shares on October 11th. Okay, during this um, down candle after earnings were announced, as he saw an opportunity to uh, get in low because of the uh, financial metrics is performing well and I would say so far uh, he's doing not doing bad he's up roughly 30 percent um, and he could get a double if the price can close the gap or at least get back to four dollars you know that would be good for a double um, again though let's go back to the monthly chart just want to point out some key resistance levels you have four dollars which we saw on the lower time frame you have five dollars and you have seven dollars this so you got support resistance you have support which will be resistance and as we saw on the lower time frame let's go down to that weekly chart 
you have support which is now resistance so if I was Paul if price and I can see price moving higher right there's really no sellers in this candle right it's really a gap so if I was Paul I would take some off the table if and when price gets to the four dollar level uh, but it looks like Paul Singer is playing the long game I will keep an eye on E2 opening over the coming months and potentially report back my findings. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.